of Clarendon and Newbury Street. You can see behind me a lot of the businesses have been shut down as they're part of this crime scene that has been gated away. But early this morning, state officials encouraged everyone to go about their daily business. And as you can see on the street next to over, people are walking, they're shopping, they're going to work. Police are just cautioning people to be on the alert, and they're increasing their presence on the ground, including at the State House, where several police cruisers are parked along the sidewalk. They're, uh, they're making routine rounds. Troopers are screening the belongings of everyone entering the building, including lawmakers. Last night, at least one team from the State Police Special Tactical Operations Unit searched the State House halls for anything suspicious. Came in full military fatigues, assault rifles um, in pairs of two, or the third with a bomb sniffing dog. Came, uh, they came door to door in all the offices, knocked on the doors, made sure that people were in there, identified themselves. As you know, 22 News has a bureau inside the State House, and police were actually searching through my desk looking for anything suspicious, and they found this bottle of hairspray to be questionable. Luckily, reporters on the scene told them that it belonged to a regular working reporter, and it's a good thing because I need my hair product. Live in Boston, Christine Lee, 22 News.